And we've got this very much prevalent within the New Testament. He mentions many times that he's a prophet. Mark's Gospel, Luke, Matthew, John, they all mention that he was a prophet. Really? Are you aware of that? Not really, no, I've never read it. I've never you, read the Bible, yeah. You've never even read it. So what do you believe, what exactly is your belief to Well, now? can I ask you a question? Yeah. So I, I, uh, I have come to believe that religion is a, uh, is a story written by winners. So, for example, why are you Muslim? Because conceptually it makes the most sense for me. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, so, let, let me ask you, and then maybe you can just like uh, fill in the blanks for me. So, uh, I am Catholic, or I, I was raised Catholic because my parents were raised Catholic. Uh, and my parents were raised Catholic because their, their, their parents were and so on and so forth, right? If you go back and look at the history of Mexico, for example, go back to around 1519, uh, there was no Christianity in that part of the world, right, until the Spaniards showed up. And so, where I start to have, um, I guess, disagreements is, uh, am I only Catholic because I, I was forced to? Ancestry, and, and, yeah. and similarly, are you only Muslim because you were raised in, a, in an area in which that was the... You know what, the, the answer to your question is this. If this is what you've been historically born and brought up in, then there comes a time of reflection. Sure. Because in these societies we live in, yeah. there's no compulsion that you must believe according to what you may have sure. been brought into. Yeah, yeah. This is the you know, the method of methodology of living in the West, in the US where you are, or over here in London. So for example, what we didn't understand is okay, if we were to in a, look at our if we were to look at our religion and think, does it make sense for me that a limited human being with flesh and bones, can he be the almighty God? Yeah. I will then investigate my scriptures. Sure. I will look into my and say, okay, what does it say about this God? So when we see in the New Testament in the, and in the Old Testament sure. that God is one, there's nothing like God. He's neither a man nor a woman, nor an idol, nor a statue. I think, okay, interesting. Yeah. So why do we believe in Jesus as, as God then? Which many Catholics do. So I, I, would, I, would, I would think that doesn't make sense. Particularly when you investigate the New Testament and you become familiar with the terminology within the New Testament, and then you go away satisfied that he's not made any he's not made any claims to being God himself. So then it makes more sense. Why does Islam make more sense amongst so many religions? Because it's got the very best concept of God. Which is who is unlike his creation. He's created the universe. By, by default or by definition, he must be beyond the universe. Yeah. Something which creates the universe when there was no universe 13.8 billion years ago. Yeah. So we're told by science. What, what does it say in, in the Quran about uh, like drugs? What do you guys, what do you guys what's your... So it doesn't, it doesn't specifically mention drugs, but any form of intoxication, which would be detrimental to your faculties, is deemed as unacceptable. What, what does detrimental mean? Detrimental means which will severely affect you. In, in what way? Well, in drugs. Way. I mean, because caffeine affects me, and that's it's a bad, very valid substance. Don't, don't have it then. Don't have it. Yep. If you're, I can do so much work though, and I can be so productive when I when I'm taking caffeine. Okay, so just if you're if caffeine is usually taken for people who may be doing long hours, they want to just um, you know stay awake mainly a bit, a little well, bit just, more. Just in, in, in the sense of, of, of doing work, like uh, yeah, if I, I know. If I'm, I don't know, if I'm at, at my job and I take an energy drink, yes. caffeine is helping me be more productive. That's and fine. Be, okay. okay. But at the same juncture, if, if you bodily are of the disposition that you are affected in a negative way, then recline from it. For example, eating meat, you can say anything about eating meat. Is that, oh, eating meat? Yeah, eating meat, too much red meat in consumption. I love my, my meat. Yeah, me too. Right, but I will, if I have to say too much red meat, although I love it, I will get like, itchiness within me. Oh really? Strange how it might be maybe higher cholesterol levels. Yeah. So I will take that within a particular sure. moderation. Sure. Because it also has got many like benefits. Right? Yeah, precisely. Yeah, it's also yeah. got but recently for example, with Islam for example prohibiting the consumption of alcohol. Alcohol in re recent Pew research has showed that even a small consumption of alcohol yeah, is sure. uh, is very bad for you. Even a small now. Before it was understood sure. you could take like three percent Within brandy, for example, yeah, which okay. acts as a uh, you know uh, as a as a help in, in, in any particular sickness that you may have, sure. and historically that was used in some extents. But anyway, the point now is that the latest research is so Islam forbids alcohol consumption. Okay. It forbids gambling. 
Yeah. We know what happens with gambling as well. People yeah. will say, oh, what if you gamble sensibly? But if you, if you win £200 on a horse, yeah. and you think, lovely, let me try, let yeah. me, the temptation will be further. Sure. And then destruction ensues. Yeah. So Islam forbids gambling. Islam forbids interest-based economies. Interest on your... Um, on your, on your well, I mean, in the sense yeah, that... that well, <laughs> yeah, in, yeah well, in the sense that the rich become richer, the poor oh, become yeah, poorer. Yeah, we yeah. know if I lend you two hundred pounds, you're going to give me that four hundred pound in return over a over a period of time. Yeah. This is not acceptable because you may be in a situation where most people are or uh, who have to make their livelihood. Yeah. People here can't afford to buy think, house. I don't know if this is a different. This might be a difficult question to answer. If you had been born in the United States, would you have been Muslim? I, I would. Yes, because you know why I would say that. Because if you were, it comes to every person's life where he reflects at some juncture. That's the fact that you've been standing here speaking to us when you could be doing so other things. Oh yeah. It's okay. testimony to sure, that. Sure. So I don't mind in the, in having talking with people. That's it's, great. It's, it's That's good. Thing, it's good yeah. to share ideas and good to share, good to share yeah. different people's thinking processes. So what I would think, yeah, you know what, it makes perfect sense that a universe which didn't exist, it came into existence. Wow. Did it come by nothing? I mean, that's, that, that kind of sounds of a like the, the Marvel comic books, though. Yes. That is a universe that just randomly Pop, appeared. Popped up. Sure. Without any conscious being. Sure. Mate, so the other plausibility, Sherlock Holmes, you must have heard of Sherlock yeah, Holmes. Yeah. What is it, what's it, I'll paraphrase, he once yeah. said, whatever's left over yeah. must be the truth. Yeah. So if we go for the process of elimination. The, okay. Yeah, probability and stuff. Yeah, yeah I, remember, I can't remember the exact phrase. I used to read his books a lot when I was younger. But, um, I never read them. Yeah. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to address to you, my friend, is when you go through that process of elimination, reason and um, the uh, having good reason to believe is sufficient, so that then you conclude there can only good be a creator. reason to believe. So, can can somebody be a good person without following a, a specific religion? By by compulsion, you can be. However, then you we, we need to define so many faculties like what is Debra's objective morality for example sure, sure, yeah. what, how, where do you stand on such positions what is your position for example on compare and contrasting homosexuality with incest if you're of the new breed of thinking of people who are thinking homosexuality is perfectly acceptable and legal but then you would have, you cannot make an argument against incest what? incest meaning uh, having um, sexual relations with your family members, like two oh, siblings. Yeah, that's uh, that's very. Uh, uh, what, now, yeah. now, before you go down that path, you're good. Okay, Somebody what I'll say. Sorry, what are your views on homosexuality? I think it's, it's fine. People fine. Should be able okay, to, now yeah, this is not a do moment. What they want to do. So this is not a moment. I'll, this is not what I would want to call as a, as a moment that I've got you, but essentially it is. Now, for example. I don't mind. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. In this country, homosexuality was illegal up until 1968. That's kind of fucked it, up. It was a criminal offence. Yeah, yeah. So the argument generally was raised: if two consenting adults, who've reached the age of um, discernment, just 18 yeah, yeah. plus sure, yeah. in this country, if they want to do as they please, of their own volition, yeah, was it anyone's business? Exactly. So, don't if two that. if two siblings. Ah, I see. Okay. okay yeah. Who are not harming anyone? Sure. They agree. Just say there's that understanding that they could possibly have, um, uh, you know, ch ch uh, uh, children who would be deformed in some capacity. Yeah. With some studies show there is an effect to that. However, sure, yeah. the point being, if they agree uh, within the within a contract that they will, for example, tie their fallopian tube, for example, with the woman would tie that, but she wants to be with her brother. Yeah. Would you find that acceptable? We call those rednecks in my country. Would you find that acceptable? No, absolutely See, not. But, but the I, point I being, the parallel is exactly the same. If two consenting adults who are not harming anyone yeah. compare and contrast, and they've agreed, they've eliminated the other possibility sure. of any deference yeah. to another individual by the form of a, a children. What criteria? What can, can, I, can I just answer? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 as, as, as much as I disagree with that idea, that I, I think we're on the same page there. Um, it makes. I don't think it should make any difference to me what <coughs> my opinion is of what they're doing as long as they're not harming any other person. So, so you played the harm factor. So initially, you went from rather, um, um, what should we say, reluctance, or, um, reluctance to towards incest. Now you're considering it and you're probably thinking, well, conceptually, both points are analogous, so it shouldn't be an issue, uh, incest either. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I, I'm not saying I'm going to participate in it. I think let's draw that line. But I think what what business do I have in, in, in people's lives? Also, I think you're looking at. I mean, the, the, the topic is is looking at a very small minority of the population, and so I think to focus our attention on that is we, our energy can be better spent on more important things like. No, but the point is what I'm trying to make to you as an analogy yeah. was 
we define our creator as the informant as to what is deemed as objective morality. Gotcha. He is the one who decides, yeah. not so, us. So let me ask you, um, are you someone who uh, participates in incest? No. Do you think you think it could be enjoyable if you tried it? Um, I would. It would be too intrinsically evil for me. I feel I feel sick even thinking about sure. it. But if you tried it, like I'm sure there's been some foods you're like, I'm, I'll give it a shot. You're like, oh wow, this is better than that. Like, it, it was something you know. Sometimes the human beings know their level. But for me, even thinking about such a thing, yeah. I feel sick. So yeah. that enjoyment would be. Right. Um, you know, decomposed, it would be just as if I'm doing an, an act beyond human comprehension. Sure. Okay, so let me ask you then, the, the, saying on this topic, do you think somebody could still be a productive member of society even though they participate in this? Um, depends in which capacity, what type of um, issues not that... Not committing any sort of, uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, not breaking any sort of laws. What? In, 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 the, in the public, going to, going to work, paying their bills, being a productive member of society, but they like to hang out with their cousin a little. You have somebody who could be a mass murder. That could no, 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 no. I, okay, so I. Okay, we have to have a yardstick. Sure, I, I'm, I'm totally against violence. And so what I'm saying. But if and, I'm not caught and I do my normal work and I pay my taxes. Sure. Is that that's what you're saying? No, fuck no. No, 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 no. If you hurt somebody, I do. I no, believe I, you. What, what well, I'm you saying, said mass murder. Yeah, but mass murder and having incident, you might be. <coughs> That's a very vague somebody. Can you be more specific? You mean vague, vague. Yeah, if you, because there's a difference between... I'm but what he's trying to say yeah. is basically if a person is inclined towards incest and he's a progressive member of society who's not harming anyone, yeah. then what's the issue? That's what the basically yeah. Also, don't you think your time could be better spent maybe going after those people who are committing mass murders like you're suggesting? Yeah. We have criteria and we don't from God. Yeah. Or we say Allah. He said, this is forbidden, sure. and this is not. Okay. It's like when you have your children, and you will say to your child, within your house. Wait, be before you go, I'm sorry to cut you off. Can you just reach out to my point there? Do you think that it, it is okay to uh, allow mass murder? No. Do you think someone's time... Okay, let me ask you. What do you think, of, in addition to this, because I know where we're going here. What about necrophilia? I don't know. Can you tell me what that means? It's having... Um, Sexual? No, it's let me get uh, look here. Oh, you can't ask me a question. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what it means. Yeah, Come on. no, no, it's not, <laughs> Come on. Somebody speaking. I've got Come a puzzle, on. a terribly sore throat. Um, yeah, so that you could be inclined towards bestiality, for example. With animals, you know. Yeah, that's, or you that's could it. be necrophilia meanings having. Oh, God, I don't even want to say these. If people sure, people sure. Oh, audience, let's go along the okay. But you just say having intercourse with dead corpses. Yeah, that's. But why? That is. That is. That if is very... if I die, if for example, I've got. A partner. Yeah, that's very and morbid. She, well, you say that, but if the partner agrees, just say the partner diseases. Yeah. And I've got this. I've got. I'm not harming anyone. Sure. They've given it the okay. Yeah. See, but see, but that's the whole. You've just said that's morbid. It is. It is. But no, I, but what I, I'm I saying to you, but, but observe the point sure. because I knew you were you were you were going in terms of the <coughs> understanding sure. of um, incest, yeah. and then you try to break that down, and you did that quite well. Then I just objected to that by giving you an understanding of what about necrophilia or bestiality? I think it's disgusting, yeah. Necrophilia? Is, yeah. Okay, disgusting. Would you allow it if, if it's not harming anyone? That's a good question. Um, I mean, it's definitely not for me. I would never participate in that. But would you then reject it? I think, you, and I'm, I'm sure the way you've I, concluded I about to, incest, you'll, you'll accept it. On the spot, it's tough to answer that. I don't. Uh, uh, I think the way you've answered the previous question, I think you won't have an issue with that either. Object. Well, I, I think it, it in, incrementally you won't have any issue with it. Yeah, but okay. So I, I think more, my my concern is more of a. This is a very narrow subject that we're looking at, right? And so the, if I were to take the the nearest a thousand people around me, yes. maybe one of those people is doing what you're describing. And so okay, yeah. why not focus our energy on something that's more important, more relevant? Yes, that's a good point. We could do that. However, yeah. if this becomes ubiquitous, just say one person is does it. it? No, I say if it becomes ubiquitous. Okay. Then, if just say it, it, it becomes it, got, it becomes so popular, sure. From everything, for everything starts it, from. But the, is it though? Like, it, no, it, I'm just it, giving you an example. Sure. Yeah. Now, for example, what are your views on sex in public? You know where you're from, originally Mexico. They passed a law about a year ago. It's now legal to have sex in the public. It, I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, that's true. I found that independently as well. Yeah. I mean, in my experience living in Mexico and being there, I've never seen that. Never been around. When that. were you last there? Uh, 
June of last year. End of last. End of last year. June of last year. Okay, so that's when the title was legalized. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't see it. Uh, I think Mexico is historically a conservative country, and, and I have, like, like I said, I'm not calling you a liar. I just it, it is new information. Well, I wouldn't just come in. I wouldn't just say out of a, like a shock effect to just make you rattled. That's funny. Of, yeah, yeah. Of, of sure, 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 I'm assuring. Sure. I'm yeah. not speaking nonsense. So um, yeah. I guess in my experience being there, um, I've never seen it. Um, I have plenty of friends and know people there that. I would, I would believe that would despite, well, be against that. Yes. Um, it's a very, I mean, affectionate people, but yes. that is, that is a, that is crossing the line. But now it's legal, like I said, in your country. I'm not making it up either. Sure. I mean, we already know it's near enough legal yeah. in Holland I, in the red light district. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure, so yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not anyway. Point being now, in, in I trying. I think you're infringing. I think that this, this, this idea is infringing on people's freedoms. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, where do our objective? Mo morals then lie where do sure. we make that conclusion sure i mean what is it for example just wait, say wait, wait, just say ask you, why do you believe you have a, a right to go into people's bedroom and, and and see what they do no we don't in islam we don't have that right however we can still okay. we can still see or still make um, our understanding this is not That's objectively I I acceptable disagree. i think i disagree there you you disagree yeah okay so if someone keeps a dead corpse in their home for example in the bedroom in a spare bedroom why yeah. am i making these Loving, like um, lavish type of uh, shock okay. effect up sure, sure, it's sure. because you need we need to reflect yeah. overall is what you would deem as acceptable yeah. and unacceptable yeah, we have to so, find a line right yeah so just say you got like a I don't know like a, what do you call it um, the psycho type of person you know from the 1950s film sure so he's, he's got uh, the corpse of his mother yeah. and just say he's taking great um, what you call um, uh, you know uh, sure. uh, pleasure from like, I don't yeah, well, know. That's disgusting. So it's this exactly. Yeah, yeah. So therefore we have to define this, you see. Yeah, yeah. And that could only be done by a moral. So then to go back to the initial points that we were discussing yeah. about things such as who is the decider of what is deemed as objectively yeah. moral or not. If, if this continues, let me ask you another question. Just say a super intelligent 12 year old boy. Yeah. Super intelligent 12 year old boy who's, got, who's able to do a degree. He's more intelligent than Sure, the majority. Sure. If if he is insisting, I want to be in a relationship with another man who is above eighteen. Why can't I do it? Absolutely. Not. Okay, so, but how do you define that then? Listen, yeah. if every cognitive faculty of that particular sure. individual he's developed physically. Sure. Okay, he's he now he's, he's gone through the stage of puberty yeah. at eleven or twelve, which often youngsters do. Yeah. Okay, he's already got. He's considered. He's, he's considered to have the top qualifications. He can do any work, any job in any field. Yeah then why would you find that unacceptable? Well, first off, let me say, I think where I, I start to disagree with you and, and you're losing me is that you, all, all the questions that you've asked me, I've been very, I've been centered around the minority of the population. No, but the point I'm trying to address, it's irrelevant if it's no, the... But, but the thing is, is that like your question, the line of question that you're asking is so irrelevant and so non-practical that I am lost to want to agree with you because... No, I, I think it's very coherent. Happening. I've gone initially from homosexuality, sure, sure, then sure. to incest, sure. then to necrophilia, know, but then to what, bestiality. What percent of the population are we talking about? Well, here? we don't know what percent of the population are up but to. Don't you think there are bigger problems in the world that we could be, be discussing? That yeah, there are problems which are which all problems need resolving in sure. some capacity. We so should, then, so then, why focus here? Why not? No, why not go? No, because 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 we're speaking about God in general, you see, yeah. and because we're speaking about beliefs sure. and what is objective and not ob objective. Yeah. We went from Christianity then into discussing what your actual fundamentally think so you're not i don't think you're inclined towards christianity at this moment in time if i'm not if i'm not mistaken no, I, I, yeah I think, yeah I, I think yeah exactly right. yeah, yeah. precisely so then we look at <laughs> you look over yeah there. so then <laughs> yes <laughs> no no so then we look um, um towards your other beliefs and we've, how about this ask me something relevant that's practical that i might encounter in my life because everything that you've been discussing is so minute when it comes to the greater population i'm almost inclined to say you're kind of wasting my time because they're not really because what? all i've seeked to do is try to redress right, then, an objective moral. People, how many people, the, the nearest 100 people around us, how many people are committing necrophilia? I don't know. I would Maybe ask. a 0.1% of the population. Maybe right? that's, even, that's even too much. Sure, but, dude, there's not Okay, if it's, if it's 0.1 of a percent of a population, of just say Actually, 60. let me ask you. Let's focus on the 90. What, what is 99% of the problems that we're facing right now? What, how can Islam face that? Yeah, so, for example. I, I would, I'm more inclined to okay, follow excellent, you there. Okay, so, for example, in this country, Alcohol, consumption of alcohol cost the NHS 
billion what is the NHS? National Health Service. Okay. Cost the NHS billions of pounds every year yeah. as a result of alcohol induced crime. Sure. Lives are destroyed. Yeah. Families are destroyed. Yeah. Um, it causes so much. So Islam forbids this. Sure. We've already, I already mentioned that in the beginning, sure. that we're not even allowed to even take a limited amount. Because the latest research has told us that it is very much detrimental yeah. to one's health. But so is sugar. I yes. Mean, I mean, we, we eat enough jelly donuts here. Then, yeah, good mean, point. We could... Yeah, but it doesn't... But thing with sugar, it won't instantly make you what you call lose faculties of your mind. Make you become or be, make you behave in a way which is contrary or make you do acts because if crimes are committed as a result of cons um, consuming alcohol sure. then you're not going to get people ki uh, doing crimes as a result of having one extra sugar in a cup of coffee for example yeah. so th that's the difference between there fair enough so, yeah. i thought you were caring about people that's why like yeah, yeah, consuming yeah. sugar can no, be no, no, problematic no. for people right yeah sure so they have to be wary of that sure. however when it comes to alcohol however like i said even a small but they, I mean, people do recognize that even a small consumption of sugar is actually beneficial for you. Yeah, yeah. The body needs it. Yeah. However, alcohol now, totally. Um, How do you feel about lack of sleep? Yeah, lack of sleep is very important as well for a person. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, because I'm sure there's a lot of people that had they had a few more hours of sleep, they could probably be more a better functioning person. Yeah, that's true. I totally you, guys, you guys talk about that? Like, is that like a? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean. I wouldn't say this is the number one topic we speak about. However, I would agree, yes. And I do encourage lots of people to get your full eight hour sleep, which sure. you recommend, yes. I mean, because I think that's equally as problematic, right? If we're looking at it from a health but standpoint. But it can't be instantly as problematic. Because because I'm sure there's people that don't drink that, uh, I don't know, maybe you know somebody that. But for example, today's Saturday night. People are going to be out and about oh, yeah, sure. in their clubs. They're going to get drunk. There's going to be all types of mayhem occurring everywhere, okay. up and down the country. Sure. Just so check out the NHS, uh, uh, you know, um, statistics on that. That will give you a great what insight. What about the people that can that are responsible? That's a very, very few people who are, and even those who are responsible. Oh, you, you think so? Even though, okay, just say, just say even those who are responsible. Yeah. But alcohol has been shown to have a severe oh, effect. No doubt. No yeah. doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. Severe no doubt effect. That. So, for example, if I like me as well, an severe is kind of. But uh, for a example, severe word, don't you, what did you say? If, for example, I, I like um, meat, red meat, yeah, me but too. I know I'm going to have a problem if I just go a little bit beyond, yeah, I'm going to feel what, my no, cholesterol I, levels are going to be raised. Or fried eggs, same I, thing I with that. I think research is showing that cholesterol is actually not a bad thing, and people benefit from high protein diets, and there's a lot of. Because with me, I love fried eggs, but I can't have them. If I have just say six in a week, I'll, I'll feel twinges in my chest. So, so it, with although that I love of, uh, with that line, um, yeah, me too. Um, with that line of thinking, because you can't enjoy fried eggs, people shouldn't be able to. No, no, that's because that because the point being, eggs have got their benefits to them. Sure, no one yeah, is absolutely. saying for a second. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you, if you as an individual can't partake in this type yeah. of food. I mean, I like chicken burgers and fried wings, but I can't have it okay. all the time, can we? It's detrimental yeah. to the health. But if you have it, you know, just um, sporadically, it's, yeah. it's, deemed, it's deemed as acceptable. Do you believe that all Muslim, or all people who are uh, of the Muslim faith are equally as responsible when it comes to performing Muslim responsibilities? No, because Muslims, I mean, I'm not saying Muslims are the best representatives of the faith, you see. Sure. It's, for okay. example, you've got a nice Mercedes car, but Absolutely. you don't know who's driving it. Yeah, you yeah. could have all types okay. of issues. Okay, okay. So that's where we're, we're on board is because with that line of thinking, it leads me to believe that, well, it seems like you're preaching that this should be the way to go. Yes. But even I'm, I'm sure there's people who follow the faith that don't practice it the right way. So Correct. how can you say that, <laughs> you know, this idea of responsibility, I don't know if you can tell, I've had about eight beers today. And I think we've engaged in a pretty you had eight beers uh, somewhere around there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Pretty productive conversation. Yeah. Right. I'm not uh, being disrespectful. I don't think I'm being disrespectful to you. I don't no, think no, I've been very, no, you've been very. You've been excellent. Yes. I enjoy debate like this. Open, open. Although I am a bit disappointed that you took two points off Liverpool today, which has <laughs> near enough cemented <laughs> their unfortunately inability yeah. to win the twentieth league yeah. title, yeah. which they would have been co-equaled yeah. with Manchester United. As However, much, that's, I, that's part of the tragedy yeah. of supporting Liverpool at the moment. Yeah. But continue, please. But anyway, okay, yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah that's a good uh, distraction. Yeah. Um, I guess my point is that I think people should be allowed to uh, you know, uh, abide by the rules, if given the opportunity. I don't, I don't think we should... Uh, I which guess, rules? Sorry, which oh, rules? Whatever. I mean, alcohol, uh, freedom of speech. Yeah. I think some of the things like necrophilia, I think that's disgusting. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I think I'm with you there. Yeah. Um, I, but I'm, I'm very careful to want to uh, limit people's freedom. I yeah. think at a time where it starts to hurt people. <coughs> yes. Uh, 
then then there should be something about it. But your idea about like being like this responsibility idea, there's people that follow your faith that aren't responsible, but people and they're are probably not, still good people. Well, I mean, they can be to an extent, but maybe you're biased. I don't know. Not really, no. Because in the, in the totality of things, you seem totalitarian. That's where I'm going. I, I'm yeah. not totalitarian. It seems like it. no, yeah, because yeah. what we do, we base our our understanding upon the Creator. You see, and that's not totalitarianism. It seems pretty strict. Well, it's just a methodology of living one's life yeah. in accordance to for for betterment of one's. Yeah. So what, do you for think? One. Well, uh, so so for example, in, in in Islam, if I like a drink, well, I can have a mango juice, which I really like, or it's I can not have, sugar though. Yeah, but I'll be careful, won't I? I'm not going to go over, over the top. Okay, I so like exactly. So why can't why can't I be careful? Why can't you allow me to? Oh, sorry. That's not why can't you allow me to be? Or not saying you specifically, you know? Yeah, you know, no, like, I understand what you mean. Why can't someone because, be allowed to be? You know what I mean? Like give them the chance to be yeah, responsible. We've just we've just established that even a limited amount of alcohol is detrimental to your health. That's the latest research. Has so you care about me? Is of course, that what you're of course, yes. Why are we having a chat? I'm not having a chat so they're going to wow out all this. They're going to give me pocket in me like a couple of hundred dollars or something, are they? So you care about my health or you care about my well-being? I, I care about, yeah, because we're here, because you're a human being like I am. Sure. I want good for you. I want yeah. you to recognize why are we, what's the purpose of our existence? Is it purposeless? Okay. Or is there a purpose behind okay. it? Can I give you a, a, yeah, an example? Yeah, so, yeah, sure. Uh, obviously, not from around here. Yeah. I came to a pub, had a few beers, went to a match, sat around people I've never met before. Yes. Had a few more beers in the stadium, had a great time. Yeah. Never met those people. Are you going to tell me that my ability to enjoy the match, people around me, conversate, kind of exactly like I'm doing with you, should be taken away because you think I can't be responsible? No, by the same juncture, we've already established if you're in that environment, yeah. which easily can kick off in pubs. I mean, you yeah. go to a West Ham match, they used to have their stadium in Upton Park, yeah. right? You've seen the film Green Street, yeah. where an American gentleman like yourself yeah. comes over, related to sure. another um, English uh, West Ham football hooligan, yeah. and one little drink leads to another. Yeah. And next thing you know, you're in a situation yeah. where you may actively become a hooligan yourself as a result of a consumption victim. of alcohol. Yeah. Or a victim, yeah, of that's course. That's an assumption there that I'm going to be yeah. participating in. I'm not saying you're going to participate. Well, no, I, said, I said once you lose faculty of what sure. you're doing, yeah. then anything goes. Hypothetically, yeah. Yes, sure. of course. Yeah. So when once we establish then that alcohol leads to that. Now, if you are from the, if you're an individual, you if you're an individual who's had eight beers, not that yeah. I could smell it on you too much, but if you have had eight beers, <laughs> then uh, you then I would notice that first of all, and I, you would have to be one super strong person not yeah. to have a little bit of a, not, not yeah. feeling wobbly. Yeah, 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 sure, wobbly. Sure. Yeah. But, but you appear to be an excellent. Uh, yeah, well, excellent I mean, it was over time, but again, like. I think that's where I, I disagree with you because yeah. the way that you're describing this, maybe I should stay home then. I, I, no, I should be safe. We're out, what we're doing today, we're out and about, we're, we're approaching members of the public. Yeah. You ha Islam is a holistic way of living, you see. Sure. It, is, it deals with every facet oh, of society. Oh, so I can go drink and work out and have a conversation with you. And well, if that's life. something that you wish to do in your own privacy, then so be it. Oh, okay, perfect. And so, back yeah. to like the but it'll be to, stuff. Yeah, but that's going to be to your detriment. At the end of the day, not even a small consumption of alcohol, you've been warned, in effect, even a small consumption of alcohol sure, is detrimental to you. Sure. Do you want to take, do you want to take detriment? Do you want to take that risk of in another 20 years, you're a young man, maybe 20, in, uh, late 20s, and if you're going to go about thinking, okay, you know what, I'm all right now, and I should be all right if I remain. So then where do you fit. draw the line? Because I, I might have a, a few pastries today, and I know that's not good for my insulin, uh, yes. my body's ability to Absolutely. You know, so, so be so, careful then. So I can't do that either? No, pastries is fine. You can have your pastries to the extent, though, that it's not going to cause your glucose level to go over the roof. Uh, so you're okay with a little bit but, of sugar. But it's not, again, we're going back to that point. It's not going to make, make, make you lose the, your faculties. Yeah. But like I said, you've had eight beers. Okay, and but you, I thought initially you were you were concerned about my health. I am concerned about I, your I, health. If I have nine cinnamon rolls, I might. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Not, no, so. I, I am concerned about. Of course, I'm concerned. That is why we're here, yeah. approaching the public to make them that there's a better way of living our lives yeah. according okay. to will of a creator. Do you work not For example, you're a good-looking five foot seven, five foot eight man. Yeah. Okay, you've got two nice eyes. You've got nice complexion. If I gave you fifty million pounds for both of your eyes, right here, right now, no chance. Yeah, yeah. You're going for free. Isn't that worth considering momentarily? Irre irreplaceable, priceless, sure. being given to you. You're something that is yours. You've got your mouth where you can eat and drink, sure. con consume water, um, eat as a result of something given. So hence, we need to be grateful to something which has given that to us yeah. that we have no control of within ourselves. Stand under the cover. Bring it. 
Do you want? I'm right, I'm right here. Yeah. Uh, it's just the cameras might get a soaking. Oh, yeah. yeah they're more worried. Well, right. there, it's not mine, it's theirs. <laughs> yeah. I'm just split on. I think I think there's an infringement here. But I think uh, that, that that's where uh, infringement in the sense that if something is harmful for you, and I'm saying to you, sure. abstain from that. Sure. That for you, it should make you consider. No, this actually this guy wants better for me. Yeah. Why on earth would he want me to? Listen, I want if you went out now and you would have a non-alcoholic beer, go ahead. How about water? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. But that, see, there's the thing that's like, I, I think I've been responsible. You know what I mean? Like, it's, um, I guess, well, just to reiterate, I think I should be allowed to make mistakes. Because I'm sure that there yes. are, are people of the faith that make mistakes. No, right? we can make mistakes, but once sure. we, no, no, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. We are not created perfect. Sure. God knows this. In fact, in, according to the Islamic understanding, is that God would have. In, if we, if God was was to make us perfect, He would have created the, like him. Yeah. If we would have cre cre God made something like perfect, who are sinless, yeah. then God would create beings who are capable of sinning because yeah. He knows that we're limited. But can he you enjoys come? Watching a show. That's no, no, he yeah. doesn't enjoy watching the show. He's given us the show. It's how we perform in the show. Yeah. That's the difference. Sure. He's given us the show. It's how we perform in it. Yeah. It's incumbent upon us. I gave you a brilliant example, which should be self-reflective for yourself. You've got two eyes. Yeah. You've got a nose to breathe. You've got a mouth to eat. That is he's given. You haven't given it to yourself. You never made it. Sure. So hence, we should be grateful to that creator. So that creator is going to judge us according to what we've done on this earth. I'm not saying I'm going to judge you, sure. but that creator is going to judge me, judge you, judge, you, judge everyone. Yeah. So what is better? He wants what's better for you. When I say he, it's not a he. In, 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 oh, I, yeah, I thought you said yeah, it wasn't a movie. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But we just, as it, I, I, it, it? Yeah. I just say God. So that God wants better for you, but God wants you to recognize God as well. Mm. He Have you ever done psychedelic drugs? Pardon? Have you ever done psychedelic drugs? No. I've never done drugs in my life. If you were to bring me a powder, a washing powder, oh, and a drug, and you say smell both, I'll think if I smell the drug, I'll be I'll just smelling it, I'll puke up. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still not convinced. Uh, so, what is it? What specifically do you find unconvincing? I think specifically. Uh, I think staying at. I think people should be allowed to do whatever they want as long as they're not hurting anybody else. Yeah, as long I mean, as they're not a productive member of, of, of society. But I think when that line gets crossed, I think it's a problem. And yeah, I think that should be regulated. Yeah, but I think people should make be given the opportunity to make a mistake. Did you know, for example, in the amongst people of a same-sex disposition. Sexually transmitted diseases are much more prevalent than within the heterosexual community. Yeah. Now, that then causes massive burden on the NHS. Billions of pounds I'm worth. Sure. I'm, sure in, I'm sure fat people do too. Yeah, I'm sure. Fair. So they, therefore, that, yeah, exactly. So they, they too should be, that's why we have these um, programs in place to watch what you eat. Yeah. So that's, I agree with you totally. Yeah. However, in that example that I've given you, it's also, an absolute requirement for you then to do what is better for your health yeah. in totality you see so we need to reflect upon these points for your betterment you see so your point yeah, again generally speaking cool. about the the harm principle so we've gone down into many fa why i try to break that down in that way is because what would be deemed as objectively acceptable and you've just stated necrophilia it's just too morbid but again the conceptually is it's exactly analogous to yeah. Uh, uh, that, that is still a very narrow-minded subject to spend how? our time on. In which way would you say it's not? Just because it's not practiced by people, however, in, in, a, in, a, in a ubiquitous manner. However, what we can say, if those who do do it, or what do you think of, what do you think of nudity? Should a human being be allowed to walk naked in no. public? No. Why? They're not harming anyone. I don't know how to express that, but I don't believe You see, that. this is the issue we got now, haven't we? Yeah. The issue here is, who defines what would be acceptable? Yeah. But, it, but is it? Don't you think it's um, like worrisome that a religion should define that? Yes. Yeah, so, so the religion is the is the arbitrator. Yeah. Is Isn't the, that is a necessary worrisome though? Pardon? Isn't that worrisome? No. What? Because what if your religion is not the the one that is in charge? So what you then observe again by method of deconstruction, 
which we have done essentially speaking, yeah. that we understand is a singular creator who's created the heavens and the earth. Sure. He's unlike his creation, not a man, not a woman, not an idol, not a statue. Once we understand that derivative, then the next thing for us is to make a summary conclusion, what does that creator want for us? Then it makes it makes no sense for me that I'm created purposelessly without a guidance. Yeah. For example, the first ever mobile phone that someone may have given you, you've never operated it before, I give it to you, what do you expect with it? Uh, I don't understand your question. Just say you've never operated a mobile phone mm. before. I give it to you yeah. and I say, here you are, you can speak to someone from one end of the world to the other. Sure. You've never used it before, you don't even know what it does. Okay. What is the first thing you would ask with it? How do I use it? <laughs> precisely, yeah. a manual, a guide. Yeah. So that's the precisely, we as human beings, we come to the earth, we need to know what our purpose of this existence sure. is. So, but is I, it I, simply I, I to... Think, I think you sidestep my question is, what if, what if the, because you're saying there should be an arbitrator and there should be a religion, what if that religion is not yours? So this is what I'm trying, I, I don't believe I've sidestepped it. Okay. What I've tried for you Maybe to I do is to make a, a reflection. Our creator, who's created the universe, he, by definition, that creator must be beyond the universe and hence cannot be analogous to the universe. Okay. So, but if you disagree with that religion? So then if you disagree with that religion, then you have to give a better format of living. Yeah. And, and then you, we've just seen by you saying necrophilia, necrophilia is morbid. Yeah, and then you, Yeah, but notice my point. Look at what the point, the succinct point I'm trying to address sure, to okay. you. You've just said that's unacceptable to from what I understand. Yeah. You then were unsure about incest, but then you thought oh, there could be reasons for it. Then to outright acceptance of LGBTQ. So we've gone through a due process and you, something you found unacceptable, other things you have. So then who would decide in law, yeah. if you were president of the United States today, would you, shoving across Biden and Trump, probably would, would you I'd probably wake him up first? Would you allow necrophilia to become legal? No. No okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Would you allow incest to become legal? Oh no, did you think that I was going to say yes? <laughs> no, I don't say that. Would you allow incest to become legal? Uh, I would probably have to look at it more, but... So, I'm hesitant. But I'm, I would lean towards saying no. Okay, excellent. So that would be... you don't chop that up and put it on your camera. No, no, it's, 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 I'm independent of them. They just put the mic on oh, me. Oh, so they're going to chop it up. No, no, they never chop it up. You can watch it later, I'll give you the channels. You can just remember, you're an intelligent guy, so you just remember what you said. They don't chop anything up. I won't remember, yeah. but it's okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So, like I said, then we, in our construct of belief, that, in the, that creator, who's unlike his creation, that creator defines to us. And the great thing also is that Islam but is not just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine, go on, go on. I was going to say, isn't that how like wars have been started though, in, in the past? Good question, fabulous question, and indeed you're correct. Yeah. However, what there's a verse in the Quran, it's a beautiful verse. Allah says, let's come to a common terms as between us and you, that we worship none than the one true God. Us meaning Muslims, you meaning everybody else. Yeah. And that is the way to actually, I'll tell you something, I appear on a weekly show on YouTube. I appear, I appear, I appear on a weekly show on YouTube. He's drunk. <laughs> on YouTube, featuring. Perfect. I can be responsible. He can be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's yeah. cool. That's no, fine. So YouTube, okay. in which I have Catholics, Protestants, yeah. Unitarians, all coming on board discussing who they believe Jesus is, and we have an interesting dialogue between us. Then what happens? For some reason, the Unitarian representative who's a Christian. Who, who, and Christian, and as you're aware, yeah. Unitarians don't believe Jesus is God. I don't know. That's yeah, correct. So yeah. There's an automatic. I'll take your word for it. There's an automatic understanding as between us and him, whereas our 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 um, um, Trinitarian friends who believe Jesus is free and one with God, yeah. you can sense, although it's very cordial, that they're not happy with the way we are trying to decode the notion that Jesus is God. Okay, they're not happy. In turn, you can tell they're not happy with well, it. That's his dad, from what yeah. I was told. Pardon? That's his dad, right? It's not. And I, can, I mean, that's a number topic, but it's, it's not. not. They it, misunderstood the New Testament totally. They don't say that. In, I thought they said that. Awesome. But anyway, I'm sorry. I'm and sorry. when it says, for example, son, it simply means one who represents God. Like, for example, in the Bible, so this is a sad paradox of history. Like, biblically speaking, a son of God is one who represents God. It's defined in Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. 
Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. So anybody who does God's work in the biblical language is referred to as a son of God. It's not to be taken literally. However, the, the, right, the, the, the later Trinitarians did take it literally. Are you finding what I'm saying to you? Kind so, of, yeah. Yeah, so, like I said, it's another topic. And if, yeah, you've got, if, you're, yeah. if, you're, if you're prepared to hang around another hour and a half, I no can, problem, can, which I'm sure yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. But in conclusion, the point we've made there is that God is the arbitrator of how one lives for our own betterment. God's not there to curtail us. So, for example... Not there to contain us. Curtail us, yeah. Oh, or, curtail. or contain, yeah, you can okay, use either, okay. either word, that's fine. God's not here to... However, so let there's us some be things... Yes, and in that methodology, we do that responsibility according to what God has made acceptable and unacceptable. Mm. That's for our betterment. Because nothing, for example, often people say, oh, Muslims, they've got a very strict life. Man, I'm stuck on the...